Planning to rock! Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd! Yeah! And it's time for an album review, Planning to Rock, W. Planning to Rock is the solo effort of Janine Rostrin, an experimental singer-songwriter who I was turned on to last year when she collaborated with The Knife on the album Tomorrow in the Year. And I distinctly remember that video as being one of my not-so-positive reviews. But it's not like that was a complete loss since I got to hear some tracks off of Planning to Rock's first LP, Have It All, which isn't half bad. But now, it's five years later, and we have W sophomore album am i and 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 i'm at a complete loss of words all of this is opinion but sometimes i feel so strongly about something that i just start frothing at the mouth because nearly every song on this album is constructed very 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 lazily filled with half-baked melodies not so good sounds Lots of off-pitch vocals, really off-pitch vocals, like can hardly hold a note, and some of the most terrible vocal effects known to man. Look at the opener, Doorway. The vocals on that track sound like that horrible effect that they would put on someone's voice in a B-horror movie to make them sound like a demon or the devil or something like that. If this is a single solitary effect that you could just throw on a voice and then get it to sound like this. This effect needs to be deleted off of every computer across the world and then we should take the last copy of this effect, put it on a USB drive, and then put that USB drive onto a spaceship and then launch that spaceship into the sun while it's attached to, let's say, maybe eight or ten nuclear warheads so that it explodes on impact. That way, this horrible, horrible, ear-abusing effect will never be able to harm future generations or races who inhabit other planets. And this isn't the only annoying vote effect on this album. There are moments like The One and I'm Your Man that find their own special little way to be annoying with lots of distortion and a little extra reverb. Wah, wah, wah. And it's not just the effects, it's like the way she's singing on this album. It's not like, oh, you know, down here in the stomach and it's not, you know, uh, up here in the throat. Ah. It sounds like the way someone would be singing if they if they had absolutely no nasal passages. Like, you know, like on the track number nine, or Manifesto. And another thing about this album, the lyrics. Look at the track The Breaks. Don't be surprised if I'm ripping out my eyes. I'm on fire. A line so great it needed to be repeated. It just seems like three run-of-the-mill dramatic statements that, that people throw into songs just to fill space, but they're layered on top of each other in a nonsensical way for an artistic effect. I mean, what exactly does it mean to be on fire for planning to rock? I mean, this isn't the only moment on the album she talks about being on fire. Honestly, I feel like sometimes she's just writing lyrics so that she can have a vocal part in the song. And while we're on the breaks, not only is this song not as awesome as the song of the same name released by Curtis Blow in 1980, but the chord progression, the way it's mixed, the sounds, the beat, it's all pretty forgettable and tame. The only musical moments that hit me on this album as being good or at least somewhat beautiful were like the horn solo and pulsating strings at the end of the one or the horns on going wrong. And that's one thing I like about this album, how laced it is with horns and strings. I love those textures. But for every good texture, there are even more bad textures. And why are the way these songs structured so uninspired? I mean, look at the track I'm Your Man. The chorus and the verse instrumentally sound almost the same. Why do I feel like on most of these tracks I'm listening to the same part over and over and over and over? None of the darkness or edginess here is real. It's not real. The Emperor, no clothes. None. The vocal effects here are so terrible they sound like they've been scraped from the bottom of a trash can. I'd rather listen to autotune. Yes. And to add insult to injury, this album is like 
such a bad Fever Ray impression on some of the tracks. It's like a bizarro Fever Ray. <sighs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling a light two on this record. Strong one or light two. I mean, my opinion, my opinion, my opinion, but light two. And without question, I will not be returning to this. I mean, <sighs> it's, it's taxing just to think about listening to this again. So I'm going to just just stop thinking about it from now on. And let me know what you think of this album. I'm sure you will. Do you love it? Do you hate it? And why? And what do you think I should review next? Anthony Fantano, planning to rock W forever.